Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Mac OS X operating system. IntelliJ IDEA IDE is an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which helps us to develop our code. And IntelliJ IDEA IDE is mainly for developing Java application, right? And the company behind IntelliJ IDEA has also made some of the very popular IDEs like Android Studio and WebStorm and PyCharm all are made by IntelliJ IDEA company which is JetBrains, right? So let's see how we can uh, download and install IntelliJ IDEA. So the basic prerequisite for installing IntelliJ IDEA is to have Java installed on your system. And if you don't have Java, you can check whether Java is installed on your system or not by going to system preferences. So just click on the Apple icon here and then click on system preferences. And then once this system preferences opens, we can see here at the bottom that there is a Java icon also here, right? And this means Java is installed on my system. But if it's not installed, you just need to install Java first and come to this video. Because after installing IntelliJ, we are going to uh, see how we can develop our first Hello World application using IntelliJ. I have also made a video how you can install Java JDK on your Mac OS X. So just watch that video and you will be good to go. So to download IntelliJ, you just need to open your browser and search for download IntelliJ IDEA. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash IDEA and forward slash download because we are searching download IntelliJ IDEA, right? So this link will open, which is uh, jetbrains.com forward slash idea for slash download i'm going to click this uh, link and this is going to directly lead me to the page of download right so here you can uh, see few downloads and you can also see this cookie warning and if you land to the main page which is jetbrains.com you can go to the ides and you can see these are the ides made by this companies uh, for example, PyCharm, WebStorm and other. So we want IntelliJ IDEA. So just click IntelliJ IDEA and then you will be able to see this page and you just need to click download and you will come to this page, right? Now there are two versions of IntelliJ IDEA. One is ultimate version, which is a paid and commercial version, which we are not going to install. We are going to install the open source uh, Apache license version, which is a community version. It's a little bit limited to uh, just developing Java application and Android application, Maven, and uh, it's integrated with uh, Git subversion and Mercurial. But if you want to have uh, more features which are listed down here, then you may want to buy this ultimate version. So we are going to uh, just download the free version, which is the community version, which is uh, open source and just scroll down and we are going to uh, download the .dmg file. So just make sure that it's a .dmg file and then click download button here. It is going to download the .dmg file and you can see the download has been started and this is fairly big uh, file. You can see it's 399 megabyte file. So you need to wait for some time to let it download. And once it's downloaded, we will see how to install it. So now the download of this DMG file is complete. So I'm going to double click on this DMG file and I'm going to minimize the browser. First of all, it's going to open this DMG file and it will verify. And in some moment we will see a window and it's going to look like this and it's uh, really easy to follow this window. It says you just need to drag this icon to the applications folder. Okay, so just uh, select this IntelliJ icon and drag it to the applications. And it's going to copy this IntelliJ 
to the applications folder and once it's copied we are going to start IntelliJ and then we will see how we can uh, write our first hello world Java program in IntelliJ IDEA IDE so now the copy is complete so now we can just launch IntelliJ what you can do is you can go to this launch pad and you will be able to see this IntelliJ IDEA icon from here or otherwise you can go to the finder and then go to your uh, applications folder and launch it from there also so I'm going to just launch it from here IntelliJ IDEA from the launch pad and it's going to start for the first time and we will see the normal warning which Mac gives you whenever you uh, install third-party applications so first of all it's verifying IntelliJ IDEA and then you see this warning which says IntelliJ IDEA is an application downloaded from internet are you sure you want to open it yes we are sure so just click open and once you click open IntelliJ IDEA IDE is going to start now for the first time whenever IntelliJ IDEA IDE starts it's going to ask you one question which is to import the projects or not so you can see import import IntelliJ IDEA settings from a custom location config this folder or you can just choose this option which says do not import settings right so you just need to leave it as default which is uh, do not import settings and then click OK and now you just need to agree to this license terms and condition just read this uh, document if you want and then click accept and now this IntelliJ IDEA customization window will start right so here you can choose what uh, theme you want uh, default or dark color I just want the normal default theme but you can choose whatever you want and for now I'm going to uh, just click this uh, button which says skip all and set defaults okay so I just want everything as default so I'm going to just click this button which says skip all and set defaults and now it's going to start IntelliJ IDEA and you will be able to see this kind of window when it opens so let's create a project just click this uh, button which says create new project so in the next window we will choose Java first of all and then it's going to automatically detect whether the Java is installed on your system and it's going to uh, appropriately select the Java version for you if you don't see anything here you can just uh, click new here and then choose JDK from there okay so you can see you can choose new and then you just need to give the location of your uh, JDK folder okay and this is by default selected in my case if you already have Java it will be selected by default and I'm going to click next and it says what kind of project we want we will just choose the command line version and you can see when you check this checkbox we will just use the command line app so we wanted to create the command line app which is okay so just select it and then click next so now you can give the name to your project so I'm going to name it as hello world here and by default it will be saved at this location so at your home folder there will be a idea project folder and then your project name will be saved so if you are creating hello world project the same name directory will be saved inside this project directory so now I'm going to click finish or if, or if you want to change the location you can change it from here right so I'm going to leave it as default and click finish and it's going to create the hello world project for me so now you can see this uh, project is created I'm going to just close this tips window and I can see uh, this uh, main.java file right I can uh, just double click here and I will be able to see the projects uh, structure also here so it has created this uh, directory with the name hello world and in this directory we have the source file 
and in the source file we have the package the package name is com.company by default and then our uh, main class is created so main.java class is created by default for us and in this main class we have our main method which is public static void main so if you already know this main method is the main entry point for your java project right so i'm going to just print hello world we just want to print hello world just write here s out and then press tab it's going to create this uh, code for you this is the auto completion feature of IntelliJ IDEA and then just give double quotes and then just uh, print hello world here okay and then save your code you can just go at the file and then uh, save it from there you can see save all option so it will save your uh, Java file and then you can right click on your uh, Java file and run it from here so you can uh, see this option which says run main and you can just press this uh, green button and it's going to build your project first and it's going to just run your uh, hello world project after it's built okay so you can see it's scanning everything and now you can see hello world is printed here so you know everything is working fine in your case right now from the next time you can also press this uh, green button from here also and it's going to print uh, the same hello world right so you can see the same hello world is printed and once again i'm going to show you this uh, shortcut you just need to write s out and then press uh, tab and it's going to give you this method and i can say hello world again and then uh, save your code from here file save all and once again run your code and you will be able to see hello world and hello world message again you can see both the message are printed so in this way you can uh, download and install uh, intellij idea on your mac osx operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now